Hullabaloo and howdy do. I'm Sanctum and welcome to Battle for Middle Earth 2 Evil Campaign. So, uh, yeah. I already did the good campaign. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was very fun. And this is, in case you haven't seen it and you just wanted to watch this instead, welcome. And, uh, yeah, let's just get on with it. This is the sequel to Battle for Middle Earth 1, obviously, hence number 2. And... You know what, I'm not gonna get into the details. If you wanna get- I get a little more to the details on the first episode of The Good Campaign. And really, there's not much for details. So, I'm gonna be playing on hard difficulty, just because I know the ins and outs of this game. So, without further ado, let's get started. In the final years of the Third Age, Middle-earth stands on the brink of destruction. The free peoples are under threat from Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, who prepares his vast armies for war. At this late hour, the leaders of Elves, Dwarves, and Men come together at the Council of Elrond to decide their next move. After the Fellowship is assembled and heads south to destroy the source of Sauron's power, the remaining leaders prepare for the Dark Lord's assault upon the Northern Lands. The elven and dwarven races have always had little trust for each other, but now they must unite and fight a common enemy. Dark Lord Sauron's influence spreads far across the lands of Middle-earth. Goblins descend from the Misty Mountains. A vast army flows from Dol Guldur, his evil fortress in Mirkwood. The war in the north begins in Lorien where the host from Dol Guldur intends to crush the elves who have long lived in their nearby enchanted forest. The raid upon Lorien has long been in the waiting. The elves have tricked and cursed our forces in these parts. Today, that will end. We must build an army before we raid the elven city. First, a builder needs to construct us a cave. Okay, I can do that. Oh, is the cave just a... Alright. I was thinking the cave was resources, but no, that's a uh, tunnel. Makes sense. Oh, of course you can't build anything else because they want me to be slow and stupid. And of course I can't get any of that stuff because they want me to be slow and stupid. It's fine. Ah, yes. The goblin cave is complete. Build our hordes of goblins for the attack on Lorien. Okay. I am doing that. And still can't build anything else. 
All right. So, I played the good campaign a lot more than I played the evil campaign. So I was able to like anticipate what was going to happen. For the evil campaign, I've only played it like once or twice. So, I don't really remember much of anything. But that's half the fun, not remembering what's going on. The goblins are ready. Our tunnels will provide resources. With more of them, our riches will grow. Oh, does that mean I can build us a second tunnel so that okay. we may conquer this land? I'm going to build more than just a second. I'm going to build like a third and a fourth and a fifth. I want a lot of money. All right, so they can't get over here. So yeah, I want these guys to be like, oh wow, they like this entire side I can see. Ooh, that's some good advantage right there. Use the tunnels to move our forces through Lorien quickly. First, move our forces into the tunnel. Then choose another tunnel from which they will emerge. Yes, I've uh, already done that. Sure, I'll do it again. Just to make you happy. No, I'm actually gonna have you build a tunnel like Cave trolls are mighty beasts that can swiftly demolish structures. We will need their strength to eradicate the elven city. It's an ambush. Wait. What? Okay. They won't get far. I can't use any of their abilities. Oh wow. This guy's getting his butt kicked. Holy crap, he got his butt kicked. It's only them, right? Good. Okay. Well. Oh, now I now I can finally choose the power. Excellent. Oh, is this the? Yes, please. I would love extra money. Did you hear me, builders? We need to construct a fissure. Will you calm your tits? I'm constructing one right now. Good. Now, uh, well done. get out of there. Has been completed. Before we can summon oh, the that's trolls, stupid. We must upgrade the fissure. Okay. That's one thing about, like, tutorial levels, even though this is technically not a tutorial. They take forever. I already know how to play. I just want to play. Let me play. All right. All right. Kind of upgrades can I get none excellent just what I always wanted and I can't get any of those excellent let's get two cave trolls build a cave troll yeah I'll just get one cave troll you never know some weird stuff might happen Aw, oh, Cave, tr cave Troll can't go in the tunnel. If our conquest is to succeed, select the build plot surrounding our fortress and construct several defensive upgrades. Several or just one? I totally did that in reverse, but whatever. I don't care. Move our forces across the, the defenses are complete. Forces are ready. I don't think they're ready. I think I need more people. But if you say I'm ready, then I guess I'm ready. Oh. Yeah, I'm screwed. All right. Let's start with those guys. Archers are a pain in the butt. Your filth will not spread through this land. Leave now or die. 
That elf is called Heldir, and he's a badass. Badass is gonna kill this guy. Oh, one of my Nazgul died. That's a pain in the butt. One of our leaders has fallen, but all is not oh, right. lost. Yeah. For they can be revived at the fortress. Uh, 750, sure. I got plenty of resources. That's one. And that's another. While all that's going down, I'll get a couple more people. Yes. With their tree homes felled, they will find no place to hide. There, the stronghold of Lorien, Kevas Galadon. Raise it to the ground. We've released the cave troll. Aw, oh, they're all the way over there. Alright. Exactly how many people can I get? A lot, hopefully. Yeah, I can't really get any of those just yet. That's fine. So, 37, 43, 45, 46, 49, 50, 51, 52, 55, so I can get two warriors and one archer. And then I think a couple cave trolls, right? Just because of the whole, the way everything is set up, I think, if I did my math correctly. Well, you can't really kill an Azghul, so there's that. Yeah, once once these guys come, everybody will be all set. And I know I can send people through the tunnels, but cave trolls can't go through there, and Nazgul can't. So I'm just gonna send everyone on foot, just so you all don't yell at me. Should probably send like a builder or something over here too. Nah, it's fine. Make him wait. Guess I could send someone out to like, I don't know, scout the area. How is it that the cave trolls are slower than the goblins? Whatever. We'll go check out everything. Is it just this thing? All right. Leave this place. Let it become your grave. Hey, you can't attack me if I can't see you. That's not fair. Build a tunnel on the far side of the river. I can do that. All right, we're not gonna be able to kill Haldir, but we can make him run. Actually, can I kill Haldir? No, he's running away too quickly. All right, that's going well. Let's uh, build a tunnel. Maybe I shouldn't have the trolls throw rocks. That seems to only do more damage. Although, does quite a bit to the buildings. Well, let's keep going. Oh yeah, I can get uh, giants and stuff, right? Yeah, let's destroy this thing quickly before worrying about their people. 
All right, now let's worry about their people. Oh, Nazgul's dead. Is it the same Nazgul? Better not be. Seems like the the AI is always targeting that one Nazgul. Yay, giants on our side. I, I need more people, though. I could also use a well. Actually, can I even construct a well? Or is that just a good guy thing? Lumber mill, goblin cave, spider pit. Yeah, it looks like that's just a good guy thing. Which isn't really fair. But whatever. Now, to wait for reinforcements or to not wait for reinforcements? That is the question. First of all, what other powers can I get? I don't care about that. I do like that. Sure, I'll get that thing. I'm working on it. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Haldir about to die. Another Nazgul died? Jeez Louise. I'm being a bit careless with how I'm going about this, aren't I? That's fine. I love how, like, these people's first reaction is to just run them over instead of, you know, anything else. Alright, I need to retreat. I need to retreat, get my Nazgul back, get a bunch more people. And then I can focus on just, I don't know, kicking butt. So on my way over, when I gathered my army, I noticed that there were some Lothlorien people over here. So I'm going to go investigate and kill them and etc. Well, sweet. And I got a giant for my troubles. I'm thinking I should keep the giants and the trolls separate. Just because I don't know about friendly damage and stuff. I don't know. But do I really care? I mean, these are bad guys after all. I can just recruit a ton. I mean, I have 20,000 resources. The smart idea would be to go after Karas Galahan now. But that's not fun. I want to explore the entire map. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, here we go. I like going after the archers first because, you know... Archers are annoying. They can kill anybody. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. I'm making the executive decision and leaving the trolls and the giants behind. They can rejoin us during the final battle. Yes, yes it will.
I love how I tell everyone to attack these guys, and then they're just kind of like doing nothing. It's too late. The giant has been freed. No giant, no. Don't kill my guys. You're supposed to kill the the elves. All right. All the giants are dead. I mean, <laughs> they're not dead. They're with us. All right. Well, nah, I'm actually gonna save those points with like the ten costing things. Hey. You're supposed to join up. All right. How do I want to go about this? Just swarm them, I guess. Their insolence will not go unpunished. Holy crap. Thou shalt feel my wrath, foul minions of Sauron. By the light of Elbereth, you will perish! So is this Kevaborn and his elf witch leading their people in their dramatic... Hey, that's not fair. You're not giving me a chance to defend myself. Kill them. Or at least they're doing something. Um, destroy that thing. Uh, of course, Nazgul has fallen. Nazgul apparently suck. Ah, oh, crap. Yikes. What about Celeborn? Um, yeah, Celeborn. Damn, I got my butt kicked. I wonder if these giants can do anything. Oh, they're still going after Celeborn. That's not good. Celeborn's already dead. Okay, apparently he's not dead. Apparently he's glitched out and still alive and is going to continue to be alive until the end of days. Hmm. That's, uh... That's not good. Okay, there we go. He's finally dead. Um, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna send these guys out. And then I'm just gonna create an army of trolls. That sounds like fun, right? I should've had those guys go in the tunnel. Whatever. I have to wait anyway for the trolls, so doesn't matter. Oh. Don't kill my builder. Alright, can 24k trolls finish this battle? I believe so. There's not a whole lot more going on here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hey guys, y'all have rocks, right? You can just... Yeah, there we go. My god. This is terrible. <laughs> I'd hate to be that guy. Oh, they're actually gonna kill a troll. Oh no. Wow, these trolls are actually not doing much at all, are they? I've lost three trolls already. Holy moly. Alright, that guy had a very bad day. This guy is also about to have a very bad day. Well, that was good luck. That, however, not so much. Alright. You know, they're all gonna get close. Just gonna pound the crap out of them all. Look, they're already doing better. Alright, now we can get back to rocks. This is great. 
an army of trolls is it's just so good. Alright, now for our Kara Skeleton. Or the Lothlorian treehouse, if you want to get technical. Just bombard it with rocks. Christopher Lee? That was Christopher Lee. That's awesome. The elves of Lorien have been driven from their enchanted forest. The tide of darkness from Dol Guldur will now spread to all of the northern lands. Cool. Yeah, not a whole lot happened. And I did take quite a few breaks. Eh, <laughs> cave troll, obviously. Oh, ooh, the Grey Havens. That's gonna be a fun one. Filled with lots of action and adventure and swashbuckling stuff. I'm gonna play as Umbar, practically. At least I'm guessing. I don't quite remember. But that'll have to wait until the next episode. So until then, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one.